ghost using our model magic. So you have one white. Um, so if you have to cut it, cut it. Just make sure that the trash gets in the trash can. And I usually split this open. That way you can do it. Now, be aware if you, um, well, we're not using more than two colors, but this will stick to itself. So you don't ever want to touch two pieces together or it will stick. So we're going to make a ghost. So I'm going to roll it in a ball first. If your table's clean, you can use a table, but be careful if your table's not clean, it will pick up whatever is on your table. Okay. So once you have your ball, then we want to make it more of an oval. So I'm going to use it and make it more of an oval shape. Now I want to keep the bottom thicker. I want to make the head a little bit thinner. So I'm kind of using just my fingers to roll it. It's touching the table just to give it that flat bottom so it doesn't roll off. So you can see how the top is becoming a little bit more thinner again. Okay. So it kind of, I don't know what shape that is, not so much egg, but you want the top to be a little bit smaller than the bottom. You could always just use your fingers and push up. Okay, so that's the head of your ghost. We want the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my thumb on the bottom and on my finger on the side and kind of pinch because we want it to look like a ghost, like it's a cloth hanging over the ghost. So where do we want it to sit? So yes, my thumb is making a, a little shallow dish and I'm kind of just turning it and doing that. Again, I'm not pushing on the head part. See where my finger stops? This was just the wider part. I notice I'm just kind of putting a finger mark, but not right next to each other. And I want it to kind of flare out in some spots, but I want it to sit. Okay. So I hope you can see the difference, see the shape, see how it's like a thicker area, a thinner area, a thicker, a thinner, a thicker, a thinner. So you kind of want to do that. Yes, the, the little bowl kind of will be there as long as it's not all the way inside because you still want it to sit on your table. So this is going to dry. We want it to dry before we add um, the black dots anywhere. And I noticed my fingernail marks are in there, so I can't really smooth those out. They'll just have to be. So... We're going to set this um, on our plastic or the paper that we ripped it off so that way it doesn't stick to anything because it will not stick to this paper. Again, you probably are going to have to get a piece of tape because you can't write your name on that. So we get a piece of tape and write our name on this part and then this will dry so then we can add our eyes to our gate. For the ghost, we need to add our eyes to it. So I have my printout marker. It's already dried, so I can hold it in my hand, figure out which side is going to be the better front. And it's already dry, so I'm just going to add two dots for the eyes and the O for the mouth. And there's my ghost. Okay, we are going to make a pumpkin with our magic model. So for us to do this, you need a package of white magic model, a pair of scissors to open it. We're going to be using paint sticks to add the color to it. So an orange and a green or an orange and a brown, depending on your stem. And then something to make black um, if you want to make it into a jack-o'-lantern. So you will have to use scissors. And then what I do is I just cut the top off. And then I use that seam and open up the seam. And then I, I lay it flat and use it to protect it against from sticking to the table or getting dirt from the table. So when we dry it, we'll dry it on this little um, piece. So keep that over to the side. So. Now, depending on how much of a stem or um, if you want to make leaves, it will depend on, for the green or the brown, depend on how much you want to take from here. So I'm going to pinch about a quarter size off. So this will be my pumpkin, this will be my stem and a leaf. So what we're going to do is, when 
gonna make it into like a little bowl, get it flat, take my orange, turn it up if I need to, and go ahead and draw on it. I'm gonna leave that off to the side and then we're gonna need it. So I push it, smush it, move it all around. And I do what I just did again, flatten it out. Okay, I don't feel like my orange is changing much more, so I'm gonna keep it here. So our next step, let me close up my orange, is gonna be making it into the pumpkin. So you can use the palms of your hand or your table. If your table has any dirt or dust on it, it's gonna get stuck in your magic model. And then you kind of can figure out, you know, pumpkins are all different shapes and sizes, tall, fatter. So you can figure out what pumpkin So I'm just going to kind of push it against the table to make sure that's flat. Okay, so once you have that, now you can use something with an end, a sharp end, toothpicks, clothespins, whatever you have that's available to you to add the ridges into your, I'm going to use something that's, I have a little set of sticky notes. Let's see how this works. So you want to start at the bottom and you're gonna roll it to the top. So it really doesn't matter what you use, it's gonna make a line if you just gently push. But the job is to push it down and roll to the top. Okay, there's my ridges. Now we're gonna do the same thing, put the orange on there with our green and our paint stick. Okay, the green didn't take as long. Let's move this off. Okay, so I'm gonna flatten it out, not too thin. Your fingers. Just kinda get a piece. Probably use your fingers. I don't know if that's gonna work so well. It's just gonna... Good. Pumpkin leaves are just really big and have a lot of shape to it. Okay, so be careful because the moment you touch your green to your orange, it needs to be ready because it will stick automatically. So to make your stem, to make a snake, do you want it to be a fatter piece? And the bottom, I kind of want to flare out. Okay, I have to make sure it's flat, so stick against it. Okay, that's like a green hat. So there's my, now if you want to make a vine, which I don't know how well this will work, you can try it. Again, I'm just making a snake, rolling it out. So that's what I'm going to do. So once I've got it in a long snake shape, I'm going to take the end Just slowly kind of snake it around. But there's my pumpkin. If you have extra, depending on how much it is, you'll figure something to do with it. Um, again, if you want to, once it dries, use your permanent marker to maybe draw a jack-o'-lantern face on it. Um, or another good thing is once it dries, then you can write your initials on the bottom so you know it's yours. But for now, we're going to take a sticky note. If you're drying it with a bunch of other pumpkins, have it on there. Then, you didn't do with us the um, ghost. You have that one too. You can use a piece of tape. Now for the ghost, we haven't finished the ghost. We need to add our... For the ghost, we need to add our eyes to it. So I have my printout marker. It's already dried, so I can hold it in my hand, figure out which side. 
is going to be the better front. And it's already dry, so I'm just going to add two dots for the eyes. And the O for the mouth. And there's my ghost. Again, that was just with the permanent marker. So I hope you enjoyed creating your model magic um, pumpkin and ghost.